Hey, what's up guys? It's Eric here from Rotor Village once again. Just gonna give a super quick overview on the new Beta FPV 20 amp all-in-one. So, here's basically what you get in the package. There's uh, connectors, which you can solder directly onto the board, which is a really nice addition. Um, if you've checked out the Beta FPV 1204 motors, they come with the uh, connectors pre-installed, so then you have options if you wanna direct solder to the board or if you wanna just plug them in, either one is fine. Uh, hardware and gummies as well. And then, so yeah, this is the board. Um, yeah, and the connectors, if you want to use them, you just plop them in there, solder them down, which is super easy to do, and you're good to go. And if you want to direct solder the motors to your board, there's uh, some larger solder pads there. So, yeah, that's a really nice addition. Uh, it does look like this board may have a bit of coating on there. I could I could be wrong about that. Um, one thing, it does have capacitor pre-installed with an XT30, which is it's just a nice little touch. It's not a huge thing, but you know, it saves you some finicky soldering, so that's really nice. Uh, yeah, this is a 20 amp board, which is uh, and it's 4S capable. So this allows you to be running some bigger setups. I know guys have been uh, messing around with five inch setups on this, which is pretty crazy. So uh, yeah, that's probably pushing it to the high end. Um, what I'm gonna be doing uh, as soon as I get the next carbon order is I'm gonna be doing a, or I have a prototype frame coming for a four inch build. So I'm gonna be testing it out on that. I'm probably gonna be running that on 1408s with four inch props. Um, We'll see how that goes though. Don't really have info on that right now. Current sensor on board. USB out the side, not facing upright, uh, which a lot of the previous ones have. OSD, F4. Um, yeah, this is obviously running beta flight. So yeah, um, this is probably for running a higher power three inch setup would be ideal or a four inch setup. If you're if you're running like a lower power three inch or 65 mil um, setup, I would probably opt for uh, the 12 amp version. Uh, not that this one wouldn't do awesome with that. It would it would be great. Um, you just save a lot of money by going with a 12 amp setup, and uh, those 12 amp ones will handle lower power setups just fine. But uh, yeah, if you want some some more breathing room, or you're gonna have a, a setup with more uh, more oomph to it, this is definitely the way to go. Um, as you can see there, the layout's by Kebab FPV, as I'm sure you guys have all heard of. Uh, yeah, so the weight on this guy is just under seven grams. It's uh, about six point six grams. Continuous current again is twenty amps. Uh, peak current or burst current is 25 amps and yeah they are actually are using larger FETs on here it's a uh, 12 channel FET versus a 6 if that makes sense um, so yeah it is it is a different thing it's not just an overrated uh, setup like we've sometimes seen in the past from some other companies so that's really good to see. Um, yeah, F4 once again. This does not have a receiver built in, so you will need to solder up a receiver to it, which is no big deal at all. Um, LED support. And, uh, oh, one other important thing. It is BL Heli S, so it's not a BL Heli 32 setup. So D-Shot 600 is as far as it goes. Um, which for these micros, I mean, I've I've never had an issue with it. I know BL Heli 32 is nice and everything, but uh, yeah, for me that's not really a big uh, a big drawback. Um, the connectors that they supply are 1.25 millimeter. If you're all of a sudden uh, looking at compatible motors, yeah, buzzer support is another important thing. It can be easy to to lose a little micros in the grass or whatever, so yeah, you can slap a buzzer on here, no issues there. 
um, smart audio capable, all the fun stuff. Uh, yeah, so really, it does it all. It's nice to see a, a higher output setup. Uh, this is the only one of its kind currently. So yeah, that's this from Beta FPV, and you can get yours at rotorvillage.ca. Or hey, if you're building a smaller setup, uh, 12 or 13 amp versions, there's a, I mean, there's a bunch of different models from different companies. Uh, that might be the better route to go as this one. It's certainly uh, not cheap. This one comes in at $82 Canadian. So yeah, like I said, not cheap. Whereas if you're having a lower power setup, um, they're usually around the $55 to $60 Canadian again mark. But yeah, um, keep in mind that price. It may sound high, but you are getting your flight controller and your four ESCs all in one board. So yeah, um, until next time.